Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some Golgari slightly. It is a little bit lackluster on the green, but we're trying to work it into a shell that we already know works. And we're trying to get these new cards that we want and see which cards are strong enough to make mono black or Orzhov Bronco. Maybe consider playing Golgari instead and add that green color into the deck. So we're following the same plan that we did a week ago if you watched the mono black video where we are on the tiny bones into the Vadmir plan. I think this plan alone is probably enough to kick Mosswood out of the deck. So we're going to try this. Now, why are we adding green to our already strong mono black list? As you can see, all these pieces are pretty much similar to what I was playing. I'll set the removal package here so you can kind of see what we are dealing with on a general basis but realistically the deck that we we're wanting to do i accidentally played two glisses by the way this is supposed to be like this i wanted to play two of these I accidentally plus on this one and i didn't realize until doing the outro and right now doing the intro so keep that in mind when you're watching the video that honest rusting was supposed to be a two of but outside of that here's our green pieces and why we're adding them to the mono black deck in Vraska. as we remove creatures we can play them we do very well at that anyway so like why not feed on that game plan and use this as a good piece to kind of bring back our mono red creatures that our opponents trying to play against us when we're removing it just generate more value in general rusting to make our creatures cheaper and buy back the important ones when we play deep cavern bat they remove that cavern bat we buy it back with rusting and it's only one black mana so if we do this on turn four we can actually get this back and play it immediately because it'll only be one black mana and that's very cool for us Glissa just kind of to be a brick wall when needed Varaska joins up at uh, one match which will not be in the game today i was kind of pre-playing i actually had this turn two of my deep cavern bats into flying one one death touchers which was really really strong so that's something to look out for when you're playing it you could play more of these i don't recommend it it's kind of a so-so card you really need your legendaries to be alive and attacking but you already have so many much value in a card like Caravec. This value wasn't really needed. I much rather just play like a second copy of Graveyard Trespasser, which finds a one of in this deck right now, and just make sure our Caravec is good. Caravec is by far the most important piece in this deck and the card that you want to stay alive the most. So outside of that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the games. The intro is already kind of long, but let's just get out there and see how the deck performs in this currently super aggressive meta. Oh, opponent wants to go first, day. Eh? Oh, well, you're going first, that's for sure. Here's my tap land. Here's their picnic ruiner. Very cool. We're going to ruckus it? No. Okay. Maybe you force me to make a call here. Sure. I mean, this is going to enter the battlefield anyway, so I might as well let it go in. This is where I will kind of counter the spell. So they're not going to get a draw off that. We get their creature out of the way. Everything's looking up from here, that's for sure. We could play a VAD. But I'd much rather... I'd much rather just deep cavern bat and take a look at their hand. They have two cards. Two lands? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Oh, they hit another land. <laughs> oh, man. You know if I don't deep cavern bat there, they're, the rest of their hand's nuts. You just know it. All right. We get to go first. We have kind of the cool stuff going on. So let's do it. I actually want to play Tiny Bones first, I think. It was weird. I never know which one to play first. And the reason I want to play Tiny Bones first. Or a situation kind of like this. Let me, you, let me play Tiny Bones joins up real quick. How are you? Are you going to discard? A land? So unfair. My Tiny Bones around. Use it as a really good blocker if able. Kind of where I'm at. What? Sure. Trample. Still take the opportunity to get the creature off the battlefield. And I don't care if they make a rat. Huh. Go 
I play the 3-3 three, three, or do I wait? I think I wait. Play another tiny bones here. Just mill you over again. There's a slick shot. That's pretty good. Make sure they didn't draw it this time. Those tiny bones will get exiled off this Kamano when I block. I might block Swiss Spear instead. We pumping here. And tiny bones, you're so cool if these things didn't have trample. Like so messed up. Tiny bones would be doing so much better if these things didn't have trample. There we go. This is a creature we need. Trample it up all you want. If you stop me. I have the power now. Just don't have lightning strike, please. I beg it. Although. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Things like monster trades and stuff like that suck. Picnic ruiner. No attacks here. Hmm. No enchantments. One card in hand. I can Caravac. It cost me two life to do so though. But this at least allows me to go wider here. And if I do find removal, it'll be fine. Can all be first round draft picks, you know? Caravac, there's nothing else. And we hold. This is most likely gonna have to target the alchemist here. Or the picnic ruiner. See how we can get our blocks to go. We block here, right? Then I can block this. And then I guess I just throw one here. Yeah. Pick two. Picking Ruiner is gone. Definitely in some dangerous territory, but cut down is pretty good. Cut down can help me. Help me a lot, actually. But can it help me survive this situation? I'm unsure. If I cut down, I could put Glissa back in, but that cost me two life. Then what kind of place would I be in? That's a tough call. We'll play Thrun here. Just try to get them within range, I guess. I'm at zero. Behold. Add another one of those to do. Three we've seen. Sure. It actually cuts us down. You could give it haste with, yeah, that card. Is that what they have? Oh, we find a card that's just a good potential answer here. Huh. No, pass. I'll hold this cut down while I can. Think this path is open? It quite surely is not. Oh boy, but what's their last card? Oh, sick. This also counters Picnic Ruiner. Uh, submit zero on that. A picnic ruiner will go to the exile. And do we have the mana? We need to land off the top. <laughs> we could draw three and lose three. Dosh chat? I believe, right? One, two, three, and four. Yeah. So we're going to search our library for a card and then put a card on top. I think. Oh, wait. Graveyard Trespass is actually nuts. Is this, is this her, is this her time to shine? Your graveyard trespasser. Is this your time? I have nowhere to draw a card here, though. 
We just have to kind of suck it up. Land. And it is your time to shine, sweetheart. Get in there. I've missed you so much. And we're committing crimes. Oh, yeah. Uh, this turn alone, I'll just wait. There's no reason to get like crazy. I'm still in a very delicate spot, especially when. Where's he at? This card exists. Just so close to that. Tiny Bones joins up, can get that card out of there. That's for sure. Get out of there. Get in there. Doesn't really matter which one I choose. Target you. Airvac. I'm gonna submit zero still. Oh, we got the we got the last one. You and you are going. I'm gonna make a food token. I'm gonna try to my best. Thing. I don't remember what I targeted. Two Caravac tokens. Smith zero. Smith zero. Yeah, not trying to die here. Up to four. Two blockers. They chomp. They have to. They're in danger. Did I have lethal? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> no. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> so stupid. Oh no. Well, if it wasn't, if it was lethal before, it's going to be lethal here. I was just so focused on my life total. I didn't even pay attention. I knew I was just so soft to everything that I was like, I can't really afford to let any damage come through. Ugh. We got the mall. We keep it here and just throw this back. See how well this works out. On a red, because why wouldn't it be? Raska. Sure. Really not that bad. Weird situation, I think. Play homeboy here, because if I get through this turn, I can name something. Play bat plus cut down. Executive different turns. Well, you're not getting played. You're gone. We you play with firing. Okay. That's an okie dokie for me, champ. Now what I do? Do I just play you? you can be named on. Yeah, cause you're not Phyrexian anymore. Um, I'm still putting you on vampire though. And then I can put a uh, second death touch counter on it. But when a legendary creature control deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. Maybe Vraska will stick around. How many rend resolves and stuff do you want to play? Like, <laughs> we just ate copies of these? Huh? Oh, I guess this is going to stay there, right? Yeah. So not really a reason to get crazy about it. I can pay one and bring it back. Super sick. Let's uh let's take a little gander here. See what you got cooking. Just take them? Hello? You might just block the Swiss spear just cause well you can't cause of menace. Ah oh, man. Tough looks. I mean a Swiss spear is not going to break the bank here though. Ooh. How does how do, how do this work? Face down card? I know it gets flipped faced up. I need another card to do it. Long goodbye would be great. Swiss spear? Very cool. Are we ruckusing? Are we getting rowdy? I will take it. I will steal it. I have so many. I kind of need to get rid of this. Oh, 
What up, I don't have the mana, Vraska. I can't do that. So it does work. It does ask you. So that's pretty cool to note. So they have a monster range and a ruckus and a mystery card. A tiny bones. A lightning strike. Okay. Cool. Yeah. A lot of damage coming through. The ruckus on Swiss Spear means we'll be able to answer it later. Like, kind of like now ish. I really do want to play Vraska at some point. I need to at some point. Get you off the battlefield. Um, pack with both, I guess. If I go to 10, I don't know what singular card. Uh, well. Considering there are eight copies of Ren Resolve and stuff, I probably should be a little bit more cautious about it. Yeah, my three. Tiny Bones joins up. I can always play that post combat here. Oh, I gotta take one to play this, huh? Yeah, why not? No idea what I want to do. On is not flipping. I have one turn. I'll relax, Red. I'm gonna play Tiny Bones, I guess. If I can get this. If I can get this up to six, I can't lose. What you got? Cut down. Weirdly, not gonna get it done. I just want to draw a card. Oh, uh, now I'm going to hit my lands. Don't you worry. Need two crimes to commit. Can be a third monster rage. Know that much. Or... It could be a fourth, I guess. Well, that worked. I play with fire. Damage all happens at once. We go to two. Am I able to commit a crime? God, that was the scariest flip I've ever seen. I can commit a crime and ever so barely. Wow. The problem is, it, oh, they're gonna lose a time. They're gonna lose a monster rage, I guess. So I was like, man, and it's almost not enough. But they do lose a monster rage. This gains life link. We go up to eight because we can't really afford not to because of play with fire, lightning strike, any of those draws off the top is just lethal for us. We draw a land. We have to hold. This is six, I think. This wicked roll monster rage, which the wicked roll would fall off. Oh, they loot. Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense, to be honest. Because they're afraid of the wicked roll falling off. I was just wondering what the math was. But if that last card was dead in hand, I don't think they could find lethal. I have a 6-6 six, six. with Menace and Lifelink. I put you on the one turn clock. Can you do it? It's four. Wow. Good game. Where are you going? Just let me, let me turn him. Let me turn him in. Very cool. Very sick. Look at his go chat. Look at his go. Go first. Cut down worth having up on turn one. Maybe. Maybe not. I think Tiny Bone softens the hand enough. 
or do I just like restless cottage let them play some stuff and then play land and then cut it down if I need to in tiny bones and go from there maybe that's the play just especially since I'm on the play I can take like one turn because if a swiss spear hits me like so what I take one damage and I cut it down Let's see what they're playing. I think knowing what they're playing is more important. Oh my God. Um, cut down, you're gonna have to be good. Cliff bridge is whatever here. It's probably just a ramp, but then I can't really attack. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Actually, I guess that doesn't matter, right? Cause the Caravac. Like, I don't care to attack, I guess. I just kind of want to slow down the ramp, but then this also sucks. Honestly, I think I just throw a Thran Spider in there and just hold it forever. Maybe. This is hard. I hate this decision. I don't think I can beat this matchup. I'm going to take their ramp early. And then just can't really attack with my Deep Cavern Bat. Which sucks. So my... My vat here gets a little too big that this can't do anything and this can't do anything. I, f I had no idea what to take. That could be wrong, but I I just don't know. What are we going to do, though? We draw another one to play? Sure. About what I expected. Player creature. I'm passing. I got nothing else to do. They're obviously not going to play their blades anytime soon. I would like Tiny Bones to trigger this here. But here we go. Can't be used for nothing important. Uh, that's Flyer. That's a board wipe. That's playable next turn. I can assure that this has to die, I think. Because it has to have power two or less. But then this lives. Let us ensure that if they try to board wipe, just the VAD dies. Yeah, that makes sense. Could have attacked, but yes. You can board wipe. Because my stone weak then. That's pretty good. Draw two cards. Fair enough. Not under any pressure. Why do anything? Don't blame me there. There's finally a land. I can finally do something about it. Take another look here. Okay, I don't know if I approve of this card, but I also don't know if I disapprove of that card. I'm going to take old inner sky here. Or you, I'm supposed to take the board wipe, but can't really get around this board anyway. You're gonna take four? Are you willing to take four? Didn't figure, but I could ask regardless. What you got for me? Yeah. I'm gonna force the one that I'm gonna force this one to be the one that stays in play. But I don't want them to get this card back. So I'm gonna force them to have to leave this one behind. Because the other rock's good, but I don't think it's near as good. Now we just need long goodbye or shoot the sheriff or a lot of things. This creature's just gonna get bigger and they're just gonna keep holding it back, but go for the throats to draw, because why not? Oh man, of course it's the draw. It's like the absolute worst matchup for it, and we find it. I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm good. Yeah, cut down removes literally nothing in this matchup. Besides a uh, market gnome, I think. And if our goal with cut down is to remove market gnomes, like 
Yeah, honestly, yeah, I'm just, it, this game's over, dude. These, these, I'm literally two cards in hand. A mall, and it's even better. Good job, Tiny Bone. Ball again. Oh. And like hand disruption against a, a mulligan. Watch this still get slammed though. On the five. And it's mono red. Mono right away. Very cool. Um. I'm gonna try to hold up cut down here. Probably won't work, but you can always try. And this is why people do not play code breaker just your your two mana play just got absolutely crushed and now you have to discard one of those yep looking a little tough for sure for our opponent here but looks like they're sticking it out until i show them something that's an answer i don't blame them this could be lightning strike, so let's continue the pressure on like making their hand awful and play a graveyard trespasser. Graveyard trespasser has ward. You have to discard a card in order to remove it. So uh, with two cards in hand, if their only card is lightning strike, sure, you can discard both your cards. Go in here. I'm just gonna keep these spells low. I'm at 17, not really like a big rush right now. And Codebreaker is awkwardly a card I could technically cast at some point, but that's not necessarily why I did it. Codebreaker is in the deck. So I want to make sure as minimal spells are in the graveyard as I can for right now. I'm good. I am perfectly okay. Yep. And now it's nighttime. It's 4-4. Four, four. We're having a good time. Here's this guy. Here he is. In all of his glory. Who are you? If I flip up over another creature, graveyard uh, glutton here. Exile them both. There's a play with fire. So you're gone and you're exiled. So old Rustine here can't bring it back. Another land, sure. Play here, play little tiny bones. Thought about not playing tiny bones, but like again, this doesn't really matter if it flips. Let's keep milling right away. More lands. Honestly, <laughs> my tiny bones is kind of costing me here. We'll exile the code breaker now. Tiny bones most likely probably not making contact. I'll probably just use it to block. And just play my creatures after but just like that we're pretty much equal hand size which is kind of weird but for mono red my life total is way too high the double attack i will just block again keeping life total high you can monstrous rage it sure i do think you just put it on your high end creature there but who knows i could lose this creature up top could Definitely take me out. I don't have a creature in the yard. Honestly, at this point, I should probably just bring this up. Gain the life. Uh, make sure we target different cards. I'll target a mountain with... The, oh, well, wrong one. I'll target a monster rage. I guess there's no creature in there anyway. We'll make a food. I'll pass. Night time's here. And I have lethal on board. If they don't have a blocker held back. Or Rast Forge, not going to get it done. They're going to deal four to me this turn. Maybe. One spell also doesn't flip this. Yep. That's gone. Not even going to hold back. It was close. Honestly, graveyard trespasser meant zero. Not being able to hit like creatures because this didn't mill over any. Like, was kind of annoying. But... Either way, you come out with that game. It was pretty close, but I think that just goes to show how strong this card can be with a card like Monster's Rage. I mean, we know why it's so good.
why like not seeing it a ton in the pro tour is kind of crazy with a lot of slower decks but those decks also got blown out if you know you get lost to creature when they monster rages so it goes first we can cut down bad caravac cut down again if we find a card that allows us to do it seems like it'll be a good match for that probably not even gonna mess around i'm probably just gonna cut down the swiss spear I just don't think there's a point in like dabbling with it like just get it off the battlefield and let's just not worry about it but sometimes your opponent will play around the cut down and it just becomes awkward we have to take two extra for no real reason just like let's just not deal with it but if they would have done that that would have been sick we could have just got rid of the code breaker tiny bonus joins up very cool card um let's play you here because if i draw a good spell we'll be happy that might eat a play of fire or a lightning strike or something probably won't block and then we get tiny bones and then caravac have a good time that way i think thinking yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking who knows though not me says i own it in the tank Maybe he missed the land. Never mind. I should just shut up. Godric. Oh, lightning strike going on Vad here. It's actually great. It means they don't have a play of fire and that absorbed most of their turn. All right. Well, go for the throw. It's pretty sick. Now we can tiny bones. Make them discard. Go for the throw. This creature if they grow it too large. And then we can play Caravac Care next turn and it'll trigger Tiny Bones, which will then commit a crime. And then we can cut down a another creature if needed. We, yes, we were not even going to mess around with. Get you off the battlefield. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Sure. Land here. Thank you. Which actually, weirdly enough, as much as this sucks, will allow them to play this squee. Zero here. But it's not necessarily like it'll be a big deal. They'll just get to make a 1-1. One, one. I'll, block, I'll block the squee. But the main thing we want to do is get that in play. Get it going. Committing the crimes. And then get it up to that nice, uh, that nice counter total. No squee here. Makes sense. This is a witch stalker frenzy, maybe. It'd actually be devastating based on our hand. Yeah. Oh, well, we're in trouble now. Go for the third. Not necessarily going to be good at all here. I don't know. Where's vampire on my list of creatures that I play? We needed a decently good threat, like a second Caravac or something, but this is actually good for us. They'll take the entire turn off to play a Squee, and Foundry will be down. And then we can go for the throw to Squee. Wait, so leaves only two cards left? We basically got them to take an entire turn off, which is sick. We'll just like, against Mono Red, if you take one damage a turn, you're pretty happy. Any bones, I guess. Won't be enough. You have Liliana's in the deck, so we might as well play out our lands while we can. Just short. What do I do here? Do I block? I don't think I can. Okay. Tiny bones attack. Tiny bones hit. We is our cast. Yes. Any color is super sick, by the way. You can target them as well. They've been hitting a lot of land, so it's likely to actually hit a spell. Lightning strike, huge. 
Now we play Liliana. We minus taking this Phoenix chick out of the air. This is my and then the Foundry can come in, but we'll block with the Squee and then we'll recast Squee the next turn. We just hope it's a dead card, but most likely not. Oh, wow. It's a land. Tiny Bones kind of coming up clutch here. Filling the in-between card. Graveyard Trespasser, no way. Oh, Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're getting this Phoenix Chick out of there. I'm not even run. I'm not even running that risk. Plus, and with Graveyard Trespasser held back, we might as well just attack all out. Get in there. This foundry come up. We're blocking tiny bones. Kind of have to block tiny bones. If they block squeeze, squeeze dead, and then tiny bones triggers. But yeah, getting tiny bones off the battlefield makes total sense to me. Recognizing that foundry's not going to be able to get through this graveyard trespasser anyway. We are soft on one card still. And that is the flyer. But they plot, they just play with fire. Keeps it daytime. Okay, you go to the bottom. You move up. I move to combat. Packing like this. Just leaving this behind for any creature that might come up. Get the Phoenix Chick out of the yard. Make another 1-1. One, one. Then, as long as we survive this turn and this turn alone, we win the game. It's very... There's a few things that could happen. Um, they could... I probably should have counted their spells. To make sure that that's not what I was supposed to be exiling. So, like, a code breaker couldn't do anything. But I didn't think they had enough. Just out of how the games kind of panned out. But that said, I think, I think we got to be done. Argo Garlis has one issue. Doesn't have a whole lot of green cards. It's very prevalent, very obvious. We don't have a ton. But I didn't want to go overboard and just really start forcing a lot of green cards i wanted to test them out see kind of how they worked and then kind of approach it that way start like getting some cards in that we like but the main issue is and this is where i kind of got conflicted is we played mono black a while ago not by a while ago like a week ago tiny bones joins up and our new blood here is such a good one to kind of punch that it's hard not to play this and if we're playing this, it gets very hard to add things like the Mosswood Dread Knight to the deck. Now, Mosswood's really good in most cases, but this card can outgrow Mosswood very, very quickly and become a threat on its own. Like Mosswood, a couple times people will let it go, not answer it. But every single time we commit a crime, like obviously once a turn, but we have very often we're going to do it on our turn and then we're going to do it on their turn. And we commit it immediately whenever we play it with a Tiny Bones. The trigger goes on a stack. This is immediately a 3-3 most times. Outside of that, like, we cut down your creature. Now 4-4. Four, four. We play another Legendary. It goes to 5-5. Five, five. We're on your turn. I do another thing that commits a crime. This is now a 6-6 six, six Menace Lifelink. Like, that sounds like a lot needs to go right. But it's happened too often that I know that it works more often than you would think it would. If you haven't played this kind of combo so often now again will people will start realizing they need to remove this immediately and then it gets a lot harder maybe but this card is so good that it will take over the game if need be and what are we doing to allow that to happen well we're playing strong cards for example like tiny bones that probably is might have to receive a cut down because if they leave it around we'll just hit them we'll play their cards and then we're having a good time deep cavern bat kind of helps protect this new blood and now we're taking the good cards out of their hand and now they're having a harder time they've already discarded a card we deep cavern bat them after if possible but outside of that we just have kind of some removal and different ways so whenever we have caravac online and we'll talk about it in a second we have a lot of different options if we've gotten to them in the graveyard besides just being like here's a go for a throw i'll never kill an artifact ever instead we're like okay we'll put a long goodbye in there if needed and a shoot the sheriff if needed um, Vraska joins up I thought was good because we have a lot of legendaries in deck giving them all death touch Caravac is the main central piece and I think where Golgari has to be in general 
whether you want to play more green or not, I think Karavec has to be a part of your strategy. Whether that's you're going to play kind of a Golgari ramp style with the other, is it free shot? The other three drops that cares about crimes and like ramps you, which might be the way to go if you really want to dabble in Golgari. But Karavec gives you so much value that you don't need cards like Mosswood Dread Knight to get the value back because this card will do it. Another card just really works well in this style of deck because you do play a one drop, two drop, maybe a three drop like Karavec is Gix. Gix you can also play, and I think you can kind of skip over that Mosswood Dread Knight spot. Maybe you can't. Maybe other people think otherwise. I love Mosswood Dread Knight a ton, but I just think maybe we can skip it in this list for now until we figure out how to kind of work it in or something like that. Whether or not this is your number one piece, this is the best piece, this is the strongest piece, this is the one you want in play, and this is the one we need in play. Other than that, we're going to talk about Pretty much everything else. Another card that was MVP today. Graveyard Trespasser. My lord, was I happy that this card was good. And it will be rotating in the next drop set, I believe. So if you want to play Trespassers, kind of the last hurrah. It's going to get in standard. It's not really played anywhere else. So if you really love this card, maybe maybe you got to build a deck to get it that one, that one last chance. You know, that's what sucks about rotation. Is sometimes some cards are gone for good. But other than that. We're pretty solid everywhere else. We have Glissa. There's a two of. It's supposed to be like this. I just messed it up. Rustine's supposed to be a two of. Glissa's supposed to be a one of. Rustine's supposed to be in here to buy back our VADs, our tiny bones, and things like that. Rustine is really the primary purpose for me playing Golgari. Is to make sure I can buy back any kind of creature that I need. I haven't seen Boris too often to make this card horrible. So I like it. Also, it is liable to commit a crime whenever you minus and make them sack a creature. Shieldred, Gissa, and Thrun as kind of one of barrels as well, which is kind of where we find ourselves in this deck. As we figure out what cards are really good, a lot of these will start to disappear and the deck will become a lot more two, three, four ofs. But until then, I'll see y'all later and I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.